Bonjour à tous, hi everyone, and welcome to Learn French with Vincent. I'm really happy to see you again. Uh, this is Unité 1, Leçon E. Uh, so let's see what we'll discover in this lesson. And we'll discover a quite important thing, uh, because uh, it's a verb, and uh, it's the verb être. Okay, être means to be. Okay, so as in many, many languages, the to be is quite useful, uh, just for a... Um, well, simple reason, you tend to use it quite often, and then we can use it to construct some composed tenses that we'll see a bit later. Okay, so let's see how it goes at the present form. Le verbe être, first, is je suis. Je suis. Okay, je, it's the pronoun personnel, so it's I. Okay, suis. I am, okay? Je suis, all right? Then second person, tu es, okay? So remember, être is really tricky, especially when it comes to pronunciations, okay? So first one, suis, as you've been noticing, you don't pronounce the final S, okay? And for tu, then you've got this combination of letters, okay? But then basically the sound you will pronounce or you will produce is a okay tu es all right je suis tu es okay so let's see the next one so you've got this il okay so it's a capital letter but then it's still it's i and then l okay il so it's he okay masculine form and then l she so feminine form okay and this is the verb so il est or then elle est so you can notice that even if we write them differently this a like that and a like that we, pron we pronounce them the the same way and that's usually the difficult thing you know with a f french language uh, what you write and what you pronounce can be quite different okay so remember je suis, tu es, il est, elle est. Okay, so let's see how the next one comes. Here it's nous, nous. Okay, ah, sorry about that. Oops, <laughs> nous sommes. Okay, nous. Some. Okay, so you don't pronounce the final S here. It doesn't exist. Some. Nous some. Okay. Then <laughs> the next one is coming. Vous et. Same thing here. Notice that final S is not pronounced. Et. Et. Okay. And then in French, we tend to have this liaison so liaison it's like a link okay that we can make between the words so in that case vous is ending with s and then you tend to make a little link between them so vous êtes z, it goes like that vous êtes okay vous êtes vous êtes all right so let's see one more time je suis tu es il est elle est Nous sommes, vous êtes, okay, and let's see the last one, il, okay, so you can notice that even if you've got this S at the end, and then here you don't have anything, well, you pronounce them the same way, okay, il, singular form, il, plural form, okay, il, son, final T, not pronounced, il, Son, elles sont. Okay? Ils sont, elles sont. So let's see it again. Je suis, tu es, il est, elle est, nous sommes, vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont. All right? One more thing to notice because it's quite important this vous form okay can be used for the plural of course and then it's the polite form that we use uh, if you meet someone for the first time 
uh, let's say it's uh, it's someone that you are uh, connected to uh, professionally or it's well someone important or then well in that case or then you don't know this person uh, you should use definitely this vous okay uh, for the first time it's the polite form after that you can decide whether you want to use this to form okay which is normally quite common in French but then first remember that vous is better okay let's see a few examples now okay first I've been no writing this uh, this question so quelle est votre nationalité okay so here to show you that it's here quelle means what est is votre your so it's uh, according to to this vous okay so the polite form of your and then nationalité nationality okay so let's repeat the question quelle est votre nationalité all right and in french we tend to raise the voice at the end when we've got this little point d'interrogation if it's a question don't be afraid to go like Yoop, and raise a little bit at the end okay so quelle est votre nationalité okay quelle est votre nationalité so if you want to present or to say uh, where you're from okay so we're using this être for that you know je suis okay so you've got here it's already and then you put this français français okay it's french je suis français je suis français okay then Another example. Quel est votre nom de famille? Famille, family, nom, name. So, nom de famille, family name, last name if you want. Okay. Quel, it's still what. Okay. In that case, it's written like that. So, we will see that in a coming lesson, but just to inform you, that's the masculine form just because nom is masculine. And here, You've got the feminine form because nationalité is feminine, okay? But then we pronounce them the same way. So, quel est, what is, votre, your, nom de famille, so family name or last name, okay? It's a question. Quel est votre nom de famille, okay? So, it's not the opera or uh, something that you want to sing, okay? So, just raise a little bit your voice at the at the end of the, the question okay so the answer c'est le François so it's interesting because you can see that we've got this c'est here and it doesn't show in the the the, the, the examples that we saw previously or for the, the, the conjugation just because it's so well basically you can tr you could translate it like it is or this is or yeah it is okay c'est Le François. Okay, and the last one. Quelle est sa profession? Okay. Quelle est sa profession? What is? So, être, hein, same. Sa, so it's her. Profession, profession. Okay. Elle est directrice. Elle est directrice okay so she's a director and then it's the feminine form here all right okay so i hope it was clear for you uh, remember that this was uh, unité 1 leçon e so the next lesson should be leçon f okay and then you can find it here on the channel in YouTube and then of course more material on the main website imagier.net okay have a great day bye bye